This last week I've really wanted to push the limits of AI video editing and inside of that I found my new favorite tool, at least for AI video upscaling and things like stabilization and motion de-blur and denoise. I took this vintage clip that you're seeing right now and ran it through Topaz Labs. The link will be down in the description below and you can try it absolutely free. It's absolutely mind-blowing the capabilities of Topaz Labs AI. You can take old photos or old videos and upscale them to either 1080p or even 4K to 8K and beyond. Here we are inside of Topaz Labs itself and the Topaz Video AI. This is version 3.1.5 so if you're watching this video a bit later, it may look a bit different, but the concepts will remain the same. Let's take a look at what exactly we can do, starting with the right side. There's a drop-down of presets that we can choose from. We can either 4x slow-mo, 8x slow-mo, there's auto-cropping, converting to 60fps, and then of course, de-interlacing footage and upscaling to 4K and beyond. We can also upscale to HD. Inside of the video, we will see our input and our output. For this case, we took the vintage clip and stuck it in as a 426 by 240 and we're outputting it in 1920 by 1080 HD. This is just your <clears throat> input and output enhancement menu. Going down we have some more filters, some very useful filters such as AI stabilization and we can actually adjust the strength and if we want it to be full frame or auto cropped. We also have a couple more options such as rolling shutter correction and reducing jittery motion with a basically a strength meter down here as well. We can also see that we have something called motion de-blur and there's different AI models you can use for this. Right now I'm only uploading on the uh, Themis or Themis. We also have frame interpolation where we can enhance our slow-mo from 2x all the way up to 16x and we can do all of this while we are upscaling as well. So let's look at the last one here. We also have enhancement and you can see video type. We have progressive, interlaced or interlaced progressive. Now it should be noted you can run all of these filters and effects at the same time. 